You're watching Cheeky Chimps TV. I wonder what Mourner's making today. <laughs> Hello, my name's Morna, and you've joined me on Make It. Today, we're going to make a space helmet. So let's get going. First thing we're going to need are some good strong balloons like these ones and a balloon pump to blow them up. There we go. Now we've got our balloon blown up, we're going to make the collar. So sit your balloon up with a knot on the top. So the collar is going to make sure you can attach it to your space suit. So we're going to use this card. You need anything between three and five centimetres wide. And all you need to do is make sure it's long enough so you can make it into a circle and it fits over your head so you can put your space helmet on. So once you've got that right, get some masking tape or some sellotape, whichever you prefer and stick your collar into a circle nice and secure then we take the balloon and we're going to place the collar around the top like this and then we just need to carefully masking tape all the way around just to hold it in place Be careful if you're doing it with sellotape not to burst your balloon. That's it. What's next? I know. Right. Um, oh, this one. <laughs> now I'm going to use this cord round the top and bottom of your collar like this. This just gives it a real good space look. So it looks like it actually attaches onto your spacesuit, so it keeps you safe when you're in outer space. So if you snip a piece of cord that goes all the way round, like so, and then you can tape that together. Again, you can use sellotape or masking tape, it doesn't matter. So sit that right in the join and then do another piece that sits on the top. Now we're ready to do the paper mache. Now what we need for this is some newspaper. I like to tear my newspaper up so you get a nice soft edge. So just tear it into pieces about this size, not too big, not too small, or you'll be there forever. We want to do about three layers on the balloon. So tear up a newspaper, get that ready. And the next thing you're gonna need is a PVA glue and water mix. So I like to fill up my jam jars with two thirds PVA glue and then just top it up with water to the line. And then the next thing you're going to do is make sure the lid's on tight and give it a good old shake. And you're good to go. Let's start paper mache. We need to turn our balloon. If you get it on a nice stand, something you can sit it on so you can get all the way around the edges. Let's get going. You can start off by putting some of your mixture on the balloon like this. And then put your pieces on. So you just have to be very careful as you go not to pop your balloon. Try not to get glue on the carpet. So when you get down to the collar, make sure 
you get your newspaper right in all the edges so you don't lose all the definition. Now we've finished paper macheing our balloon and let it dry, probably let it dry overnight so it's nice and hard, the next stage is to pop it. Right, you might need an adult for this bit. If you get yourself a safety pin, open it up. It is going to make a bit of a bang, so do be careful. Ready? There we go. <laughs> That's my favourite bit. Now, as you can see, you've got all the bits of balloon inside. And we can peel those out. Great. Now we get to cut out the visor. So let's draw on where we want our vision panel. Pick somewhere nice and central. Draw it on with a pencil so you've got something to follow. Next, get some scissors, some sharp ones. So again, you might need a grown up to help you with this piece. I'm going to cut out the visor. We're nearly there. Now we can start decorating it. First of all, you might want to put some buttons to make yourself a little control panel on the front of your space collar. So down here, you can use these buttons and you can glue them on so you've got something to press to speak to mission control. So you can put them on the front, you can put them on the side, you can put them wherever you like really, wherever's handy for you to get to your buttons. I tell you what else we need. These are good. These bottle tops look really good to stick on the side where your visor would have a hinge. So it just makes it look all the more authentic. So you can stick these on with glue or we can paper mache them on. The same as when you do the collar, make sure that you get all in the edges with the glue so you don't lose the shape. Now that we've stuck on all our bits and bobs, we've got our paper mache hinges on the side, our control panel buttons on the front, we can do some painting. Let's get some paint. I'm going to get a white and a black, maybe a blue. It might be helpful to get your stand again that you had before, keep it off the table or put some newspaper down. And you can use whatever colour you like really. I'm going to do a nice shiny white coat first. Now if you've not quite done enough layers of paper mache and you think it's a bit thin, you can also add a bit more PVA glue to your paint if you like and that will give it another strengthening layer. Once we've got a base coat on, we can then go in and work in different bits. So I'm going to do a visor all the way around the hole that you look through. So let's start by doing that. You can draw this on first or you can do it by freehand, however you feel comfortable. Oh, and what I might do is I might do some blue stars on my hinges. And that's us finished. So what we've got here is we've got our 
buttons at the side, down on the collar. We've got our stars on the hinges. And you'll see here that I put in a little microphone. I used a straw for that. So if you get one of these bendy straws, like this, get some scissors and be careful, and then just chop. And then I just sellotape that on the inside of your helmet. And then you've got your little microphone so you can chat to Mission Control. All that's left now is to try it on. Oh, and there we have it, your Spaceman's helmet. <laughs> oh, hang on, there's something coming in from Mission Control. Go ahead. Oh, I think there's something over there. Ah, I better go. I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Yay! Did you enjoy that? Well, if you did, click the subscribe button and then you'll never miss anything from Cheeky Chips TV again.